Hi, this is part 6 of Zero tutorial. In this video, we will demonstrate how to implement an Angular-based application with Auth0. Let's create a new project named it Angular Auth0 Play. Now it's created. Let's open it. Now the project is open. Let's run it. You can see the project is working. Now let's add some Auth0 stuff. Log into your Auth0 account. Go to the tenants you want to use. Since my project is Angular application, I need to create a single page application and name it Angular Play. So after the application is created, it pop up the quick start tab. We choose the Angular one. It shows the tutorial which demonstrates how to add user login to our application. So I will follow this tutorial. The first thing is to configure Auth0. After the application is created, we can get a client ID and client secret for the application. We will use it later in our application. So now we need to configure callback URL, logout URL, and a lot wipe arranging URL. Since we are running locally and using Angular, we just add the localhost portal into the configuration tab. Click the settings and add the URL into callback URL, logout URL, and allow web arranging. Save it. Now let's back to the tutorial. So the next step is to install the Auth0 Angular SDK into our application. Let's copy the comment and go to our Angular application. Stop running. Uh, so since the SDK is installed successfully now let's run the application again to check let's back to the browser refresh it's still working the next step is to register and configure the authentication module so we need to open the app.module.ts file and import the service from the auth0 package Let's copy the code. Refresh the page. It's still running. So let's go to the next step. The next step is to add the login to your application. So first, let's create a new component. Now let's add a new component. The login component is created. Now I want to clean up this home page. I will delete all these contents and left the icon here. Let's delete the photo. Now the application is cleaned up. Since there is no login component, I will display the login component in our application. Let's have a check. The login work. So now let's follow the instruction. Now we want to add login into our application. We need to import the auth service.
We need to add a button in our template. We need to create a constructor first. Now let's have a check. Click login. You might notice the domain is changed. Previous is localhost. Now the domain is changed to all zero dash play. You can see it comes from the domain we have here. So we can sign up. After I click menu, we successfully sign up and log in, and we redirect back to our application. You can see the URL is localhost. Now we are going to add logout functionality back to the instruction. Now we copy the import. and also change the constructor. Change the template. Save it. Let's have a check. Now you can see we are already logged in. The button content is changed. Now we click log out. See, we log out successfully. Now we are going to show some user profile to tell the difference between login and log out. Let's refresh the page. Click login. See, after we successfully log in, my profile is pop up here. So after we click log out, we back to the previous page. In the next video, I will show you how to configure callback URL and use a different callback URL from the landing page. Thank you for watching.